Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I'm here to share some healthy meal ideas. I had to stop at the market after the gym today and I always get organic strawberries, especially when they're two for four. And I always have to go check out the cheap section and see if I can find any good finds on sale, which I actually did find a couple good things. I'll show you that in just a minute, along with the meal prep that I was able to get done this week. I only spent $25.68 and I started by getting organic strawberries. I only buy organic berries. If they're not organic, I don't buy them. And if it's not in the budget, I don't buy them. Um, I also got a red pepper and a zucchini and an apple, which does not have that waxy film on it. This is not organic. I usually only get organic apples, but when I'm in a pinch, I'll get one that does not have the waxy stuff on it that you can like wipe off and there's none there and then I got some baby spinach and then also picked up some lunch meat so this is a low sodium turkey breast and I got a pound but I have them split it up into two and I freeze half of it because there aren't any preservatives in it because obviously the salt is a preservative and so when you get lower sodium things it does not last as long which is really a good thing um so we use a half a pound it take you know last about three or four days and i also got a pound of some applewood smoked ham because i want to make taylor some more ham and cheese croissants which i made last week when i made the copycat starbucks sandwiches um i just didn't film that and then um from the cheap section their clearance section got some hawaiian rolls for a dollar 29 and I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll make like a ham and cheese slider for after school snack. So I may do that. Or we'll do some like pulled chicken with barbecue sauce and a cabbage slaw. Um, so we'll see. It was only $1.29 and it's nice to have one hand. Also picked up some enchilada sauce, 99 cents. Ingredients are very good. Focus. No crap in there. Macros are awesome. So pick that up. Um, I think I have some chicken in the freezer. If not, we can get some and make some enchiladas sometime. But that is the quick little haul today. Now, I gotta be honest with you. I started this meal prep a couple of days ago and I made an epic fail. Have you ever, like when you're making something, have you ever, you know, had this voice inside you say, don't do that. And you've said, I'm gonna do it. That happened to me. I was making my Greek wedding soup and I got the veggies ready and everything going and I added quinoa to the broth and I knew I shouldn't have done that. Do you want to see what happened? This is what happened. How many cups of quinoa do you think I put in here? At least like four, right? One. Like, I was very aware that it was going to be a little bit soft, and I was okay with that. You know, like rice in a soup. I did not realize how much quinoa expands. And it reminded me that I do not go by the cooking instructions on quinoa. I feel like 15 minutes is always too long. I like to cook mine only for about 10 minutes, just so you still have that little pop. You know, a little pop in your mouth. And I love that. And so I should have known better. But... Thus is life, and this is one of those instances where I have a great idea and just did not execute it properly. I should have just had the quinoa on the side, which is what I'm going to do next because I bought a zucchini and a red pepper, and I've already have some onions. So I, oh, and I bought some spinach so I can recreate this dish. I already have quinoa. I have one thing of stock. And I'm going to make another thing of stock. Let me tell you, I am not going to waste this. This would be perfect for Dexter. Has some healthy grains, healthy vegetables. And I went to the store and got some chicken livers. Now I used to make my um, dog food like from scratch for my other dogs that I've had. And just something, I don't know. I just didn't feel comfortable with it. So that's why we give them the bell jack now. I, I don't know. You know what, tell me what your thoughts are about making your own dog food. Chicken livers are in, and there he is, barking, like he always does. All right, I'm just gonna let it cook through. 
and my liver will actually break up. And this is going to supplement his food. Once the liver was cooked, I went ahead and put the whole pot in the fridge overnight. That way it could cool. And then the next morning, I portioned it into four bags. And I'm just going to use that to supplement Dexter's food. The first thing that we are starting off after that are some ham and Swiss croissant rolls. These are Taylor's favorite item from Starbucks and they couldn't be easier to make. All you need is a thing of croissants, some ham, and some Swiss. We are using a low sodium Swiss cheese and an apple with smoked ham. And you just layer it on the croissant and roll it up just as you would if you were making the package directions. And I bake them at 375 for about 12 to 15 minutes. You want them lightly golden brown on top and more golden brown on the bottom. Yes. I also prepped some strawberries. I got them two for four organic strawberries. Amazing. And there's nothing fancy here. I just put them in a big bowl of ice cold water with a splash of vinegar and I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Since they are organic, they don't have, you know, very many pesticides on them. Of course, there's still dirt and things you want to look out for. And that's basically all I'm trying to get off the strawberries. And I do like using a paring knife when I cut them because I want to make sure I leave as much strawberry as possible. And I just fill, I just take the green top off of the strawberry, slice it in half, and I put it in a paper, in a paper towel lined glass container. And on this morning, we decided to have the croissants for breakfast along with some strawberries. Taylor ate the croissants and strawberries, and we also had strawberries, but we had our copycat Starbucks sandwiches, which we were copycatting the the reduced fat turkey bacon. We actually used real bacon in these. So I can link that meal prep video if you're interested in making them because they're also super easy. Mm. They are so good. Mm. The next thing that I'm making are my Greek turkey meatballs. And I am making these to go into my Greek wedding soup and having some Greek salads for lunch. I'm also making a smaller batch for my sister and brother-in-law who are expecting their second child. I like to get her stocked with some freezer items so she doesn't have to worry about that bringing a new baby home and is able to eat some healthy meals. She's also dairy free and so I do omit the cheese when I am making the her batch of meatballs. I also used egg whites and only because I didn't want to waste an egg. I only need basically half an egg for her small batch and there's no reason to get that when I have the egg whites. But if you don't have egg whites, you can just use half an egg. The recipe for the meatballs will be in the description box below. So please check that out. And once it's done, I wrap it up and I let that sit in the fridge for an hour or so just to firm up a bit. I'm going to start with this one since there's no dairy in it. Oven's at 425. And I like to use a little scooper and I scoop out the evenly, mostly evenly amounts of the meatballs onto the parchment lined cookie sheet and then I roll them all up. I just feel like it's easier and quicker to do it that way. I bake the meatballs at 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'm looking for them to have a golden brown bottom. I like them to be just a little bit crispy. I think they hold up better in the soup. Plus they just have a better texture that way. These are for my sister and brother-in-law and nephew. They are getting ready to bring another addition to the family and so I wanted to make them 
some easy freezer meals and she's dairy free so I want to make them special for her and honestly I do that a lot it's not that difficult like you saw I just had to use two different bowls no big deal look at that crust look at that crust Mm -hmm. Looks like they were pan fried, but they're not. The next thing that we are making is our Greek wedding soup and we're going to first start by adding the veggies and again the recipes will be listed in the description box but we are using an onion which I finely chopped and zucchini and red pepper. We'll be adding spinach in a little bit but we're going to start with those veggies saute on about a medium to medium high heat with some olive oil. Once those are soft, we are going to deglaze the pan with just a little bit of vinegar or you could use white wine. <music> going to add the broth. And you will see that I get in a little bit of a struggle with this broth. It's one of my things. I love making homemade broth, but I always forget to take it out of the freezer. So I'm constantly using ice broth. But that's no big deal. It'll all be fine. And once that is completely for now. integrated into the soup, then we will bring it to a boil, and that is when we will add the spinach. Once the spinach is added, then I do like to taste the broth to make sure the flavor is good. Just turn the heat off. It's done. Taste it in a second. Salt. It brings all the flavor out. Mm -hmm. 
in the quinoa I cook per package instructions except I do not do the 15 to 20 minutes I do 10 to 12 because I like my quinoa with a little pop I just feel it's more delicious that way I like the texture a lot better the next thing that we are doing is making our salads for the week so I like to use cucumber and tomato and onion and feta cheese on the side I will get a little small package of pita chips I think that goes really well then I'm using the Greek salad dressing that I picked up in my last grocery haul <laughs> in the fridge for myself and Chris to take to work and then I get all the leftovers sliced cucumbers the olives and put that in the fridge to use throughout the week and lastly we are making some Rocky Road granola bars now this recipe came about by me basically purging my pantry and I had some sunflower seeds and I had some rolled oats and I had some almond butter as always I had some marshmallows I had some chocolate and I thought chocolate and nuts and marshmallows that's Rocky Road now there are no peanuts in here but I felt like the sunflower seeds would be a good you know replacement for peanuts I don't really care for too many peanuts to be honest with you so I originally made this recipe as like little energy balls and so when I made the bar form, the texture was not the same. It was a little bit more dry. I was also trying to use less honey just to make it a little bit less calorie, less sugar. But that was not a good idea because um, it fell apart. It was still delicious and we still ate it, but the recipe needs to be tweaked a little bit. So for right now, I do not have that recipe. I will be tweaking it and sharing that with you later. But we did end the night with a sweet treat that's also a good breakfast or snack option. And little Taylor helped me with that, which was really nice. Well, I sure hope that you enjoyed watching this video. And I love sharing some meal prep ideas. And I've got some other content coming out soon. So I hope you stick around. Please let me know if you have questions about anything that we made today. And I will see you soon. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.